Yes. Yeah. <laughs> There's not one we, in the studio. <laughs> we've been encouraging snakes actually here on Breakfast, haven't we? We have. You know how we like to revisit stories, give you an update. Well, this is one from uh, 14 years ago and it is all about snakes. Back in the summer of 2009, we told you how conservationists were trying to reintroduce smooth snakes into parts of the UK where they hadn't been seen for 50 years. They call them smooth snakes, make them sound a little uh, bit nicer. I don't know. No, well, uh, Tim Muffet has been back to find out how <laughs> they're getting on. Uh, anyone with a phobia of snakes might want to look away now. They're about to be let loose in parts of Devon. July 2009. It's all about these things here, the smooth snake. Off you go. Good luck. And live on BBC Breakfast, smooth snakes are released into Heathland in East Devon, the first relocation project of its kind. Ten snakes have been brought from Dorset to try and boost numbers in the southwest of England. Winding its way into the undergrowth. Off into the wild. It was organised by the Amphibian and Reptile Conservation Trust. But would it work? So, 14 years later, how did the snakes get on? Well, I've come back to find out. The pebble bed heaths in East Devon are home to more than 3,000 animal species, including rare birds like the Dartford warbler, and rare butterflies like the silver studded blue. Hello Owen, good to see you. And you've got a snake. We do, we have a, a smooth snake um, caught this morning, handed under licence to show you today from this site. It's a healthy uh, adult male. As far as you can tell, how successful was this relocation project? It's been a success. Uh, in the first few years, there wasn't a huge amount of activity. Now those animals, there's evidence that they bred in the area. This is the evidence a juvenile smooth snake filmed on this site last year. More and more young snakes have been spotted here recently. That's a really, really good sign for us, uh, evidence of breeding here. So that means this landscape here has been managed well enough. Before the relocation, smooth snakes hadn't been seen in Devon for 50 years. Conservationists are now monitoring sightings to try and work out how many there now are. But smooth snakes are shy, so counting them will be hard. It's probably time to put him back, I think. Corrugated iron sheets have been placed here deliberately as snakes like to hide under them. We'll lower this very, very gently so that he has the opportunity to move off into the undergrowth there. Smooth snakes are non-venomous. They're also found in northern and central Europe as well as parts of Asia. But in the UK, they've become very hard to spot. The main reason smooth snakes are so rare in the UK is that they only tend to live in sandy heathland like this. And over the past 200 years or so, huge areas of heathland have disappeared, replaced by farmland, roads or buildings, or just neglected and not maintained. We've lost somewhere nationally in the region of about 85% of the UK's lowland teeth. And those prestigious little bits that are left provide home to a whole network of different plants and animals and reptiles. Encouraging snakes to spread far and wide isn't easy. But five miles away, volunteers for the Snakes and the Heather project are hoping to do just that. Like with many species, the habitat has been decimated around the country. The idea is that we'd have an area where heat is produced and the young would have a place of safety before they start moving away. We're trying to enhance the habitat here and enhance the numbers. Smooth snakes can live for 20 years, so the snakes we saw being released in 2009 could still be alive. They've definitely been breeding, just as conservationists had hoped. Tim Muffet, BBC News, East Devon. Carol, you can come back. <laughs> it's over. She's gone. I mean, they're kind of cute in a way. They are quite cute. But just a word from the experts. If you see any smooth snakes when you're out and about, please don't pick them up. Don't talk to them. No. <laughs> they're a protected species. They can only be handled with a special licence like uh, happened there in Tim's report.